Greetings, my name's Chris from CF1010 Joomla Training, and I'm here to show you how to add a photo gallery to your Joomla website, and, had, and also how to add that gallery to an article. So you can add, load a whole load of images, all in one go, and then display them in an article or in a gallery. So what I've done, I've logged in, and I'm gonna use our photo admin. You can um, do this front end or back end. If you're in the back end, then you have to go to your components and go to Joom Gallery. Because we use Joom Gallery. There's lots of other uh, components out there for images, but I like Joom Gallery. So well done to Joom Gallery. And the first thing you have to do is create your categories. So you might want to spend some time in the back end creating all these categories. And I'm going to create a new category slightly easier in the back end I, I find but this is going to be uh, devices carnival 1970 I use my granddad's pictures and you could give a, a description here if you wanted to so this is what will appear not in your article but will appear in your gallery info here my granddad but okay you'll put something a bit more meaningful in there as well so we're going to save this again if you wanted to change the access you can do but we'll keep it public and we're going to save that so we've got our categories created a bit like creating articles you've got to create your um, your categories first and now we need to upload our images so we just need to go to back to our user panel or photo admin and then you'll see this little upload button here similar in the back end but we just use this to show you how you can easily do it from the front end a little bit of blurb about copyright because we've got to make sure that we've got copyright on using our images and what i've done i've already created some images um you know which we can use and i've exported them to 800 pixels using uh, Picasa. You can upload larger images if you want to, it just takes longer to do. But I'm going to rename these, so a little bit of a shortcut. So all my images are in a folder here now. Control A to select them all. And if I press the F2 and rename the first one, Devises Carnival 1970, that will and click away that will now name all of them you don't have to do that but it's better than having some random image name and you can rename them when you upload them so back into our photo admin and we can either do a single image uh, forget batch upload if you've got java then java is the way to go because you can do a whole load i think you can do several hundred if you wanted to Oh, yeah, 500 you can do set here but again you might have to do some changes so we're, category photos will be assigned to which album and it's going to be the devices carnival um i'm going to call a generic name uh, let's call it carnival nine, oops, 1970 check my spelling yep um the author is myself generic description if you wanted to but you can change all this later so I'm just going to browse to find these images on my desktop and there they are there control a to select them all open and what I'm going to do now click on this little upload button and this will upload all the images you need to all the right plugins as well so if it's not quite working right for you give me a shout you need to have the plugins and obviously Joom Gallery put in. Now Joom Gallery is our preferred option, but there are other ones out here, there as well. And again, at this point, in that you could have up to that, 500 images if you wanted to. And this is uploading it from the our, our local drive, our C drive or whatever it may be, and we're putting it up onto our server. So reducing the size before you upload them makes it a little bit quicker and uh, easier so that's now uploaded all those thank you very much 
And if we just go back onto our photo admin, or you or use a panel if you want to, we go back to the photo admin, and you can see all the images are here. And you have the ability to edit the image, delete the image, or if you want to unpublish an image for whatever reason, you can do it from this end as well. Just to show you the actions, if you wanted to, you can spend a bit of time in giving a description to each one if you wanted to. But we're not going to do that now. And down here, as you can see, you, you can make the access public, registered or special. So you can change permissions on the images. We'll just cancel that one because we're not going to go through all those. You don't want to watch me go all through those. So we've uploaded all those images. And if we click on our gallery, we put a link in here. And it's automatically put this into our gallery. Again, how this is all set up, it's in the back end, but this is a very out of the box type look. So you click on the image, you can see the bigger image. Again, got a nice size, and you can go to next. And you can set it up to be a little pop out if you want. There's my auntie there. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Didn't really need to know that but anyway, so the, this is quite nice you can even start a slideshow if you wanted to but how you configure all this is in the back end under the components but it's a nice nice little feature and people do love images it's quite nice looking back on my granddad's pictures anyway before we get too carried away what we're going to do now we're going to add this gallery uh, to an article so we're going to start and create a new article or one we done earlier uh, call it devices carnival 1970 i think it could be 71 and we'll put some information here photos by my uh, granddad Put, I put some more text in there just to fill the space so you don't watch me type. It send you to sleep. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put our cursor where we want the gallery to appear. And you will see down here a thing called Doom image. If you don't see it, then you need to plug input in and let me know. Uh, but it's quite straightforward to do. This appears here now. If we click on it, that comes a little pop-up. And you can insert individual images. So we go to search there. You can see what images are around. And you can filter by different categories if you've got a lot of images. So you, you could use this to put individual images if you wanted to. Or, uh, but what we're going to do is uh, insert a category. And what we're going to do, number of thumbnails, we're, we're gonna, we know there's 10 in there, so we're going to use 10. We have four columns and ordering. Well, we put a random order, and then we just select our category, and we got just the one to choose from. Click on this, and what we'll do, you can see it puts the code in. So you don't have to worry about that. The plugin will render this, but you could obviously work out changing that if you wanted yourself. So going down here, it's in the category of news, uh, status is published, featured, no, you should know all this by now. Uh, we don't put the meta description in if you, at this stage, keywords if we wanted to. We're just going to save this. So we saved this our news story. So if we go into news now, and you can see what's happening here is the latest photos are randomly peering over here because we've got a module putting putting in. But we're going to go to our new story we just put together called Devices Carnival. Um, click on there to open up because it picks up the first image. And here we have all those images, or those 10 images. Now it's got hits, author, admin. You can switch all this off. I normally switch it off. Uh, but if it needs switching off, then again, that's in the back end. And that looks very nice. And if you click on the image, it will take you to the, to the larger image. So if 
people can actually see. Um, anyway, so have fun with it. You might have to do a little bit of configuration to get it all to look as you want it, but it will at least put your thumbnails down here and we can get rid of all this information. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Now, don't forget, end of your session to log out. So click on the log out button and log out there. Because if you don't log out, you can lock an article. So if you've got someone else who's using your website, they might not be able to get to that article afterwards. So we're just going to log out and say, happy jumeling. So that's how you put your photos into a gallery.